let me get real for a moment. As a machinist, I know that we all hate changing chucks and we hate doing maintenance on chucks. You have to lift out these heavy chucks, take them all apart, clean them out. Who likes doing that? So I know in actual shops, people will leave these chucks in for years at a time thinking that, you know, they'll do it when they have a chance. But it's not like that because shops are always busy. But today I've got something that anybody who's had that problem is going to wish they had these. Stick with me. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you why this chuck is unlike any other chuck you've ever seen. I'm going to be swapping out both chucks in my machine and replacing them with the brand new Rota THW3 chuck. For the main spindle, I'm going to be swapping out the chuck for a similar model and that's going to be great because the chuck actually uses the same jaws as my previous THW+. But on the sub chuck, we're actually going to be swapping it out for the same THW3 chuck and we're going to be moving from six jaws to three. The six jaw is an amazing chuck. It's unmatched for doing thin wall aerospace parts for holding tolerances and for holding concentricity. But for everyday machining and for general purpose work, the three jaw system is a much better fit. One thing you'll see when you look at both of these chucks is that this new chuck also has big flats all around the outside of the chuck. One reason is that it helps with weight reduction. But another reason that I really like and something that I've run into is that it's for clearance whenever you have a driven tool in the machine. When you do side milling on a live tool lathe or a mill turn, you have big tool holders that are getting very close to the chuck. So these flats give you some extra clearance so you can bring your tools in closer to the chuck. There's also a wiper on the master jaw that when you clamp the chuck, it actually pushes any chips into the inside bore. So any chips that might be caught in the master jaw gets pushed out and it just keeps everything clean. I love that. Shunk drilled out as much as they could while still keeping the chuck as rigid as possible. That makes it more lightweight. It improves the acceleration and deceleration of the chuck so it's able to start and stop quicker and it makes it a little more energy efficient because you're not using as much power to spin the chuck. So also, it'll save you money and power. A three jaw quick change chuck makes more sense on the sub spindle. It's got that same quick change system that we like on the THW Plus, so we're able to swap out jaws in a minute. On a normal chuck, you have grease nozzles on each of the jaws and you usually have to put in grease on each jaw every week. With this chuck, there's just one grease nozzle. And on the other end, there's a bleed valve. Because it's all contained, you don't lose as much grease from spinning really fast. And your clamping force stays more consistent because all that grease is staying inside of the chuck. The seals also keeps chips out of the chuck. So you don't have to constantly clean out the inside from chips. So the way that this chuck is designed, the weight they took off of it, the quick change system, the way the grease works, it's going to save you time. It's going to save you money. It's going to make it easier on the operator running this machine. And the chuck just looks cool. For our shop and for what we're doing, the three jaw just made more sense. So I'm very excited to use this chuck. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you like what we're doing, and I'll see you next time.